Hello there, uh, Miss Lee here. We're gonna go over question number eight from uh, unit eight progress check, uh, part B. Uh, so in this one it says, let R be the triangular region uh, in the first quadrant with vertices at point zero, 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 two, and one comma two. The region R is the base of a solid. For the solid, each cross section perpendicular to the Y axis is an isosceles right triangle with the right angle on the y-axis and one leg in the xy plane. What is the volume of the solid? So let's go ahead and draw this out real fast. So zero, zero. Zero, two. and one comma two, okay? And so it says for each cross section perpendicular to the Y axis, so if it's perpendicular to the Y axis, that means that the right triangles are going this way. Uh, and the right angle is on the Y axis, meaning that it's coming out from the Y axis. And so this is gonna be the right angle right here. And it's gonna look like this. And of course, I am not the best drawer in the world, so this is what we're getting here. So those are right triangles coming out of the uh, page. And so since it says that these are isosceles right triangles, you know that this side length over on the side here and this side length are going to be the same. And so when you're finding the area of said side length or said right triangle, you're going to just take one side length and you're going to square it and you're going to divide it by two. And the reasoning for that is because it's a triangle. So you do length times width and then uh, you divide it by two. And in this case, since the length and the width are the same or the height and the width are the same, it will be S squared and then divided by two. Uh, so we'll go ahead and set up our integral then. Um, so we have the integral that in blue so the integral and then since it's perpendicular to the y-axis you know you're going to have dy on the outside um, and then since it goes from 0 up to 2 uh, as its y values we're going to go from 0 to 2 and then we'll go ahead and fill in this s squared over 2 so it's going to be something squared divided by 2 now the question is, what is that squared? So uh, what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and find the equation of this line right here. So the equation of that line can be found using um, slope intercept form or point slope form, uh, whatever you prefer. Uh, but if you're looking at it, since it said that this point here was zero, zero, and this point over here was one comma two, you can basically figure that the slope of this line is two and it goes through the origin. So you have y equals two x plus zero, but we don't need to write the, the zero. So we have y equals two x. However, we were supposed to write it in terms of y. And so we wanna solve for x and we get x equals y over two. And so we plug y over two into here. And then we're just gonna go ahead and evaluate this integral. Uh, once we evaluate this integral, we're gonna have our answer. And so uh, let's go ahead and do that. So if you do y over two and then you square that, what you end up with is y squared over four. So you have in red, let's do y squared over four. That's going to be this portion right here. And then of course that whole thing is divided by two. And we're going to integrate that from zero to two. Uh, since it's divided by 4 and then divided by 2, you can say that's equivalent to y squared over 8. And again, we're evaluating this from 0 to 2. And then we are going to integrate that. So the antiderivative of y squared is y cubed over 3. So you have y cubed over and then 3 times 8. And then we're evaluating this from 0 to 2. Now if you plug in 2, you get 
two cubed over three times eight minus, and then you plug in zero, you get zero cubed over three times eight. Well, two cubed is just eight. So those eights will divide out. And so you have eight over three times eight minus zero. And so that just equals one third. Therefore, you're going to get an answer of A. All right, and there you have it. That's number eight from the unit eight progress check part B. Happy day.